right, today we're going to talk about micro drop shot fishing. And I'm just going to go over kind of the way that I like to uh, use a micro drop shot and just some of the gear, techniques, knots, things like that. So uh, first I'll just start off what I like to use. Um, now that's not to say you can't use something different, but um, this is just what I like to use. Uh, I like to use uh, a ultralight spinning rod and uh, this one is a seven and a half foot so it's a little on the the longer side uh, and uh, I prefer a little bit longer uh, stick for when I'm using a micro drop shot it just helps me kind of uh, control the the bait on the bottom a little better a little bit more sensitivity on the tip um, and just a lot more kind of reach over the water so uh, this one's just a Suyanora I think it's the elf series um, really good little spinning rod and uh, the reel I just use a 1000 uh, series spinning reel so I think this is a Shimano I think it's like the older Sahara uh, version and I pretty much stick to a uh, four pound fluorocarbon uh, line for this now that's not to say you can't use monofilament if you do have monofilament on your reel just go ahead use it There's, that's not a problem uh, fluorocarbon is just a little bit less visible to the fish um, but really, the main thing is it's more abrasion resistant. So since uh, drop shot fishing is kind of a bottom technique, um, the abrasion resistance on fluorocarbon really uh, helps uh, helps you land more fish and lose fewer fish. Um, also, it is not as stretchy, not as uh, it won't give quite as much as monofilament. Monofilament has a lot of stretch to it, so um, you'll uh, just get more of a direct contact uh, to these fish uh, with fluorocarbon because uh, when we're drop shot fishing really it's fishing by feel so the more you can feel uh, the more of a direct connection you have uh, to your line down to your fish uh, of course the more bites you'll detect and the more fish you'll catch so for an all-purpose rod I would stick with something that's seven and a half to seven feet um, now that's not to say I don't use something shorter uh, so for these longer rods I catch everything from bass trout all the pan fish uh, really, it's my all-purpose stick, but I do have a smaller and even lighter uh, Suyanora Light and Sensitive. This one, I think, is only six, six-ish feet long, so it's on the shorter side, but it's much, much more light, li much lighter and uh, much, much more sensitive. So I will use this stick if I'm kind of, if I know I'm just going after panfish, if I'm after bluegill or shellcracker or something like that, uh, I will take this little uh, smaller stick with me. And I do have a little smaller reel on there. I have a 500 series Shimano Sahara reel, but a 1000 series would, would do just fine. Again, I just use four pound fluoro. Um, you could go down to two pound, I guess, if you wanted to on this, but four pound fluoro, I'm pretty confident in it. It seems to just be the blend of kind of the best of all worlds. Now, if you're primarily going after bass, um, you're fishing a little bit larger lake, of course, you can jump up to, to six pound or even eight. But uh, for me, I'm down here fishing a lot more creeks and ponds. Four pound, you know, is a pretty, a pretty good size for me personally. But of course, you can adjust for your conditions, where you're at and what you're doing. So, um, so yeah, we'll just skip over that gear portion and we'll go straight into basically the, the drop shot. So when you're micro drop shot fishing, you're going to want to use small little drop shot weights. And we do have these on our website. I think we've got four different sizes, everything from a one, uh, 30, 30 seconds here up to like one sixteenth, which is a little, a little bigger. And what you're going to want is some type of drop shot hook. Now all these Drop shot hooks are kind of shorter shanked hooks with a straight or kind of a slightly upturned eye. Um, any of the major brands will work just fine. I've got some owner mosquito hooks here. Uh, I've been using this decoy worm 10 quite a bit. Nice little hook. There's a Ryugi fog shot hook. And uh, really just any of those will work just fine. There's a lot of drop shot hooks out there. Now when we're micro drop shot fishing, I use anything from a one all the way down to a 14. 
Um, I'm using mainly twos and fours on a lot of my minnow baits. And then from six, eight, tens and smaller I, is kind of what I use more on my bug baits and worm baits and things like that. So um, just size your hook uh, to the type of bait that you're using. And we'll go over how to rig. So I'm going to use a little bit thicker line here. Let's move the, the camera down a little bit. Just so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I think this is eight pound, so a little on the thick side. But So what we're going to do is we've got our tag end here and then the line going off to, to the right here going to, to the rod. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hook and we're going to thread it onto this line so that the hook point is facing up. Just like that. Now the depth will uh, kind of be determined by really the conditions and where you're fishing and what you're doing. So there's no real right or wrong depths to be fishing at when you're drop shot fishing. It really just depends on where the fish are, what they want for the day and the type of bottom you have. As a general rule of thumb, I'll say if the bottom is clean, so if it's a rocky bottom, no weeds, not much algae, usually I will drop shot closer to the bottom. I'll drop shot a little bit shorter and get that bait near the bottom. But not always. I mean, if the fish are off the bottom and suspended, of course I'll go find those fish and uh, go up a little higher. But as a general rule of thumb, if it's the cleaner the bottom, the shorter I'll go. Uh, if the bottom has a ton of weeds, there's weed towers and um, you know uneven bottoms with weed mats and things like that, I will lengthen my drop shot out uh, quite a ways uh, from the bottom just to keep that bait up above those weeds and generally fish and weed towers and things like that will be a little bit more suspended than maybe fish on clean bottom where there's not as much structure. Now that's a pretty big generalization. That's not always the case, but if I was to pull up to a lake and I didn't know how, where to start or what to do, that's how I would start. Um, and you can drop shot anywhere from, you know, way down just a few, just a couple inches off the bottom to all the way to two, three feet off the bottom or even more. It just it just really depends on what the fish are doing. Um, if I was just to walk up to a lake, no idea what the bottom was like, uh, didn't really have any idea on what to do, I would probably just start with a 12 inch drop shot. Just go about a foot off the bottom and uh, try that. See what happens. Um, if you're not getting any bites, um, go shorter or go longer. So. Um, I would say a 12 inch drop shot is kind of like my, my lazy rig. That's just what I, what I go to if I, I don't really know what's going on in the lake. So, so to tie it on, we're basically just going to make a loop with our line. Just like that. And I'm going to go pretty fast here. I will put a link in the description on a better uh, knot tying video that I did. Um, in the past already, but I'll go pretty quick here so we can cover um, cover some some topics. So basically, I'm just going to throw a loop in that line, then I'm just going to take this hook and I'm just going to spin it through that loop once. Try and do this on the camera here. Twice. three times, four times, eh, we'll do five times. It's not really super important on how many times you do it. You can do it five, six, seven times. Um, and then all we're gonna do is just we're gonna pull the tag end and the running line kind of evenly. One side, if it tightens too much, you can pull the other side. There we go. What you'll end up with is a little kind of barrel knot oh, stuck myself there with the hook on accident you'll end up with a little barrel knot there on the eye of hook with your hook sticking off 90 degrees now if I didn't do a very good job there like I said just click on the link in the description and go to the other knot tying video um, I don't have my camera set up very well here so it's hard for me to do it on camera but that is how you rig a micro drop shot. Then all you're going to do is you're just going to take your weight just 
stick it down there on the bottom. Just pull it tight. And essentially you're ready to rig your bait and start fishing. Now, as far as baits go, really, there's no bait you can't use on a drop shot. I mean, you could use just about anything. You can even pull swim baits on a drop shot. Um, now, I will say, to fish a drop shot, most people fish it a little too aggressively. So, uh, a drop shot is a micro finesse technique. Uh, you want to throw this out there, let it sink all the way to the bottom, have contact with the bottom, let it sit there for just a second, because a lot of the fish will just eat it as soon as it uh, basically hits the bottom. So as soon as you feel contact with the bottom, pull the line tight so you can feel the bait. Um, if your line's not tight, if it's just laying there on the bottom like this, you won't be able to feel anything. Um, the fish could be sitting down here chowing on it. So what you want to do is you want to pull the line tight just so you feel the bait basically get slightly picked off the bottom and you're like, okay, now I know where it is. And you let it go back to the bottom. You want that line tight. And what you'll do is you'll, you'll feel basically a fish come up and start um, grabbing that bait. Um, and instead of just yanking on the hook right away and pulling it away from the fish, what you want to do is just slowly reel and lift the rod tip. And basically all we're doing is we're just pulling this drop shot on the bottom. And if a fish bites it, you'll feel slight tension and nibble and just, uh, just come tight, just come tight and start reeling and you'll, you'll hook that fish. Um, a lot of guys uh, think when you fish these little drop shots, you know, you'll, you'll throw it out there and sink to the bottom and they just start jerking away and just start working it, pulling this drop shot way off the bottom, jumping it all around. Um, and I mean, that'll, that'll fool some fish, but really what you want to do is have this, this, this weight in contact with the bottom and you're just slow pulling and give it a twitch from down there, small twitch, um, just enough to basically move this, the slack in the line to get the, the tail uh, of your bait a little bit of movement. And then just slow pull, slow pull, a little twitch here or there. Um, try not to get the, your weight to just f constantly flip and flop off the bottom. That's really not the best way um, to work a drop shot. You're probably overworking your bait um, at that point. So that's the biggest mistake most guys make is overworking uh, the bait. Now to rig a small little soft plastic. This here is our Ultra Finesse Worm. This is probably one of my favorite go-to drop shot baits. Um, you can of course use anything, but I use this an awful lot. If I'm having a rough day and uh, I can't catch fish, you know, on a standard jig or an underspin or jeek rig or whatever I'm doing, I'll go to an Ultra Worm on a drop shot. That's what I default to if things get really tough and it almost always fools them. Now you absolutely could just nose hook this bait you know, just like that and leave it on the hook, just dangling there. there. There's nothing wrong with that. I see a lot of guys do it. Um, I find that I don't get the best action out of these smaller baits uh, like this. And I also lose a lot more baits too um, because the fish can nip them off a lot easier. These are pretty small baits, not a lot of real estate area or surface area for that hook to stick to. On a bigger, you know, bass worm, you could get away with that. There's a, there's a lot more plastic there for it to stick to. Um, but on these guys, what I like to do is actually thread the plastic onto the hook. Just like that. Um, that gives me enough surface area and real estate for that bait to, to stay on. And I just feel like I get more action because uh, this bait isn't constantly sliding around on this bend of the hook. It won't slide up the bend. It won't slide down the bend as much. Um, unless a fish bites it, this bait will pretty much stay just like that. And uh, as you're working it, you're basically just trying to slightly get that tail to move. And like I said, you don't want to be doing this in the water. Um, you're just basically looking to try to get this tail to, to just barely bounce and jiggle around. Um, and pull it, pull it on the bottom. So um, you can absolutely use little craws. Um, you can use little minnow imitations. You can use our little micro swim baits. I mean, there's really no limit to what you can do. We even have, let's see if I can find it here. I think I have it on a Jika rig in my little pack here, but you can even use a little dragonfly larva. That's a pretty, uh, dirty little bait to throw on a micro drop shot. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of all the tips that I, that I have for you. I'll try to, I'll go through and I'll throw some links to some of the stuff I talked about uh, in the description of the, the video. So it'll make it easier for you 
to find some stuff. But biggest thing is get yourself some micro drop shot weights. We do sell these on our, our website. Um, small soft plastics. We have a huge wide selection on our website of every little soft plastic you could probably think of to throw on a drop shot. Um, a small drop shot hook. Uh, the Japanese are coming out with even kind of some, some odd sized hooks. Uh, this is a five. It's kind of neat. It's not quite a six, not quite a four. Um, so a lot of these Japanese drop shot hooks are really, really good drop shot hooks. Get yourself a longer ultralight too. Um, something seven and a half, seven feet would be what I would pick for just an all purpose ultralight drop shot rod. Um, but if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Go out and use what you have. Um, I prefer ultralights, but some of you other guys could absolutely use an, a light rod. Um, some guys even prefer a heavier medium light rod, but um, for my personal use, I like the ultralights. Um, and stick with four pound tests too. If, that, if I was to, to tell you on a micro drop shot rod what one size line would be, it would be four pound. So, and I prefer floral, but uh, basically anything will work. So yeah, get out there, go fishing. Um, if you saw any of this gear that you, you think you could use, head over to our website and uh, snatch up some drop shot weights and some little soft plastics and go have some fun. So you can find them all at moondogbaitco.com.